Today we're making an afternoon tea classic, lemon drizzle cake. But not one of those dry bricks from the coffee shop. Oh no, we're talking soaked fluffy sponge, sharp zesty icing. After this lemon drizzle, shop bought will never be the same. Let's get started with the sponge. So grab a standing mixer and place 175 grams of unsalted butter, 175 grams of caster sugar and a pinch of salt into the bowl. Now for the lemons. If you want to treat yourself to Sicilian or Amalfi lemons, you go right ahead. I'm using the bog standard lemons you find in the supermarket and I find they work just brilliantly for this cake. So if you want to splash out, feel free, but you don't have to. Zest all three of the lemons directly over the butter and sugar to capture as much of those essential oils with the zest as possible for maximum lemon flavor. Then using a Paddle attachment, cream the butter, sugar, and zest together for about five minutes until light and fluffy. This creaming process is also going to help extract loads of flavor from the zest into that butter mix. Crack three whole eggs and add them to the butter mix one by one, continuing to beat the mixture to make sure they are well emulsified into the butter and sugar before adding the next. Once all the eggs have been added to the mix, scrape down the sides of the bowl and add 100 grams of self-raising flour and 75 grams of ground almonds, then mix everything together again until smooth. Once the batter is mixed, we need to test the thickness. We want this cake mix dropping consistency to create a light and fluffy sponge. So if it seems a little stiff, add a tablespoon or two of milk to the bowl, give it a quick mix and it should drop right off the spatula. Spoon the cake batter into a one pound loaf tin lined with silicone paper, level out the top a bit and then place into the oven at 180 degrees C for about 45 to 50 minutes until puffed up and rich golden brown. To check if it's fully cooked, insert a skewer into the cake and if it comes out clean, there's no more raw batter and you're good to go. Now let's make a quick syrup soak for the cake. Grab two of your zested lemons and juice them, squeezing out every last drop. Then place that juice into a saucepan along with 100 grams of caster sugar. Place the pan over a medium heat and mix to dissolve the sugar in the lemon juice and bring to the boil. Once it's bubbling, turn off the heat and add a couple of sprigs of rosemary to the syrup and leave it to infuse for about 10 minutes. This rosemary is gonna give that cake an awesome floral note. Once infused, pass the syrup through a sieve to remove the rosemary and put to one side. Now back to the cake. Take that skewer from earlier and carefully poke holes all over the surface of the cake while it's still warm. We're not just stabbing wildly here, we're creating some holes to help our syrup soak into the sponge. Once thoroughly poked, take that warm lemon syrup and spoon it all over the cake gradually until all the syrup has been absorbed. You might need to be a little patient here, but trust me, this cake will absorb it all. Once all the syrup is in, leave the cake to cool on a wire rack for about an hour until it's firm enough to handle. Then it can be removed from the tin along with the silicone paper. Now it's time for the final icing. Place 100 grams of sifted icing sugar into a bowl. Juice that final lemon and then add that juice gradually to the sugar, whisking together to create a thick pouring consistency icing. Too firm? Add more juice. Too loose? Add more icing sugar. Ideally, the icing should hold a ribbon like this. Finally, pour that icing over the cooled cake, allowing it to drip down the sides like so. It's a pretty hands-off approach to cake icing. To finish the whole thing off, zest a fresh lemon over the top of the cake for that final zesty hit, and then leave the icing to set. And that's it. This lemon drizzle cake is ready to slice and serve. I always think it's best on the day it's made, but it's so moist and soft that if it's still around after four or five days, it's still really, really good. Now cut yourself off an extra thick slice. I think you deserve it.